When the office receives the statement stub with the check or payment, they must post it in the Responsible Party tab found in the Patient Demographics. So up on the top, I'm going to click on the Patient button. Down below, click on the Responsible Party tab. And then up at the top here, we have the Responsible Party name. Now instead of typing in the name, what we want to do is look on the Statement stub and find the account number. You'll note that on Advanced MD Statements, they don't generate a visit number, so this is how we're going to tie the payment to the correct account, or in this case, the Responsible Party. So we click on the ellipsis button for the name, select the account, and then type in the number. You can hit the tab key, it'll go over to search and then hit enter on the keyboard and it's just the same as if you typed it in and click search. If I hit the enter on the keyboard again, it will pull up Jeff Brad. Now down below, I can click on the payments button and post my payment. There we have the PP code for patient payment. Type in the amount check, cash, in any case. If it's check, you type the check number there. Deposit date, any information that you want to include on the statement, type it there, and when you're done, click OK.